What's going on everyone? Mike O back, and it's time to rip a hobby box of 2019 Topps Allen & Ginter Baseball. It's a beautiful product, a product I look forward to every year. Just phenomenal looking cards. It's not a product for everyone. There's definitely some crazy stuff in here, but there's just a lot of beautiful looking cards. You get 24 packs in a hobby box. And a hobby box contains any of these three, an autograph card, relic card, rip cards, printing plates, or book cards. Relic cards are your most likely hit, but you never know when you can get one of those super sweet autos. There are mini cards, inserts, short prints, all sorts of stuff. Here's a little look at the cover art of the box. Just absolutely beautiful looking base cards. Just a big fan of Topps Allen & Ginter, one of my favorite releases of the year. Just love the cards. like to uh, pick up some base, collect some of the base in binders, use some of these cards to get autographed during the course of the year. Of course, if you get a big hit, that would be huge. Uh, this year does come with one oversized box loader card, so we can take a look and see what we get. With that, set up this box here to break it. So, nice looking packs there. Let's get into the uh, oversized box topper and see what we get. And we got an Ozzy Smith. Rip it, keep it. Oh, wow. 16 of 60. This is a rip card. I didn't even know they did rip cards. Inside this card will be an exclusive mini stained glass parallel and two of the following. An exclusive mini parallel or an exclusive mini wood parallel or an exclusive mini metal parallel or a red mini autograph or a one-of-a-kind sketch card. So, yeah, I was not expecting that. I was expecting just the oversized card. Oversized card. It's an Ozzy Smith. You can either rip it or keep it. I'll tell you right now, for now, we're going to keep it. If I do decide to rip it, I may do that in another video, but I am going to uh, just put that aside for now, because quite frankly, I uh, was not expecting that. It sounds interesting, though. I like the fact that you get three cards inside instead of just the standard one. Let's get into the regular packs. We start off with Roberto Clemente. Awesome looking card. We got Knight, Sweet Mike Trout, got a mini of Mullen, a Barry Larkin, baseball star signs of Alex Bregman, Cedric Mullins, and Marquez. So if you look at the back, numbers 351 to 400 are short prints, so that means Barry Larkin is a short print. These others are base. We'll pile the base up. And then we'll pile the inserts up as we hit them. So I feel like we already did pretty decent with this box getting that rip card. I don't know uh, much about it. Like I said, I didn't even know they made rip cards of the uh, of the box loaders. Here's a golden retriever. And our first relic card. Unfortunately, relic used memorabilia is this dude, Bonomo. Don't know a whole lot about Justin Bonomo, but apparently he's a professional poker player. So that is one of the things you can hit. And hey, if it's a celebrity you really like, then that's pretty sweet. If it's someone you never heard of, then eh, it's not as sweet. But hey, what are you going to do? I'm happy to co collect the base. That doesn't mean I don't want big hits, but I'm uh, less so worried about the big hits than in other products. There's a nice Raphael Devers. Adams, Mike Piazza, sweet looking card, Dave Winfield, we got uh, the incredible equipment, Polanco, and Glaber Torres, guessing Piazza, nope, it's Winfield, Winfield is the short print, I think short prints are one in every two packs, take a look at that right now, there's a look at the odds, if that's something that you're interested in, All right, we've got Bodie, Cincinnati Red Stockings, 
Buster Posey Mini. There's a Sweet Dale Murphy. Pollock. Tris Speaker. Olsen and Hank Aaron. Like, you can't tell me that that's not a beautiful looking baseball card. Still working on this first row. That'll get us to the one third part. Should be eight packs per row. Reg Jackson. Charlie Blackman. Yadi Molina. He's this Bonomo guy again. Christian Stewart. A mini Jeff McNeil. That's nice. Guy's having a great year. Each row. Looks like Christian Stewart is a short print. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think about that big rip card. I have no idea. I'd look it up, probably, see what it goes for. I don't know if it's a $15 card or a $50 card. Though the temptation will definitely be there to rip it. Stallions. Caricature plant. Shohei. So they're all base. These are great for in-person autographs. If you have an opportunity to get these signed, get them signed in blue. They look amazing. Cespedes is a mini black of Seeger. And we get an insert. Very colorful. Just for you the flight. Despedus, short burn. Nice stock, always like the feel of these. Yeah, that rip card, very tempting, the fact that you get three cards, but we'll see. Bregman, the Jackie, O'Neal, there's a sweet Fred McGriff. Piazza, Ginter Greats, a super nice King Griffey, and my Oz. He rips, uh, I think he does it on YouTube, uh, hold on, Yahoo. I think it's Yahoo video that he usually does, rips packs of cards with players and videos. Fun little videos. I watch them from time to time when I see him promote it. Elvis Andrus, we're in round two, and we got a Vlad Guerrero rookie. Mini Andujar. Hat. If you're into grading cards, generally speaking, Ginter's pretty easy. Just got to watch your centering. Usually corners, edges, centering, surface are pretty good. It's definitely not the toughest set, but like anything, nothing's a gimme. Pee Wee Reese. Reese Hoskins, first Philly of the break. Mini Justice Sheffield. Got a Clydesdale. And here's a relic of Sean Newcomb. So a Nukem Relic. So our first hit was a Relic of a Poker Player, and our second is a Relic of Nukem. I don't really like uh, this one. I've seen these. It's just, I don't know, it looks a little odd. I do like the mini framed Relics a little bit better. Either way, I'm not a huge Relic collector. I definitely keep some of the Hall of Fame players and such, but given the choice between an autograph or a Relic, I'm going auto every time. It's a nice Tatis Jr., Bob Gibson, oh, sweet Gary Carter, Eddie Murray is a short print, Mini Salvi Perez, it's a Francisco Lindor, and Abreu, Jose Abreu. Getting close, well, probably about the midway point right now. Alomar, Butcher, Burnett Mini, Santana, Altuve, Rivera insert, James and Castro. Start moving through the rest of this box, try and get it all in on this one video. LeMahieu, Roger Maris, Toussaint, Jansen, Mini, Benatendi, Hank Aaron, Rivera, oh, Peter Alonzo. Alonzo's a nice rookie hit. I might go through the rookies and look at them. Maybe get them slabbed up. They'll look nice in a slab for sure. McGuire, Cox, Ramirez, Aaron Judge, 
Incredible equipment. Mini Eloy Jimenez. It's a nice Steve Carlton. That'd be great to uh, to get signed. I believe he signs through the mail for a donation that you make if you make it to, to the Grace Fund, if I remember correctly. So that's definitely a strong possibility. Another flights, another crazy mini. Looks like Phil Necro is a short print. All right, this one is going to put us two thirds of the way through the box. I'd assume that the third hit will be another one. Dawson, Mazzara, Livio, Allen, Mini, Gonzalez, Sandberg. Jose Canseco as a Tampa Bay a Devil Ray. Nice to mix it up. Love the old school players mixing the product. All right, last third. Let's see what we'll get. Auto would be awesome. Eckersley, Snell, Doolittle. I believe he's a short print. Yep. Oh, wow. Doesn't look like it's numbered unless I'm missing it. Jose Martinez, little mini metal. That's pretty awesome. Put that down. I am not sure if that is uh, how short printed that is. I didn't really look at the odds when I was going through it. But I gotta imagine it's not uh, easy. Too much stuff to read. Metal, one in 2,000. I don't know if I'm looking at that right. Well, either way, I'm thinking that's a tough pull. And it's pretty cool, J.D. Martinez. Those are nice Cole Hamels. Votto, Matthews, Mini Hosmer. Buster Posey, Seeger and Syndergaard. Matthews is a short print. So a rip card in the box topper and a mini metal sister. Luke Voigt. Uh, there's our third. Our third hit is going to be a Cal Ripken Jr. game used memorabilia card. So not bad obviously would love the auto but if you're gonna get a relic you'd like to get a hall of famer and cal ripkins not a bad one so that's that's pretty neat definitely uh we'll take that cannot complain oh sweet babe ruth cannot complain about that at all i think this box has been real solid um i mean how can you complain right got a rip card in the jumbo Got three relics and then a mini metal. So it's pretty sweet. Gonzalez, Perez, Dan Rather, Fisk, Lou Gehrig. Cool card. Mini Correa. It's a JT Real Muto for the Phillies collection. This Bozo, unfortunately, for the Phillies collection. And three packs left. All right, O'Hearn, Koufax, Mini O'Hearn, Tony Gwynn, Orlando Cepeda, Nolan Ryan, Walker, Donnie Baseball. All right, two packs left. Johnny Bench, Luke Voigt, Fallon, Matsui, Lugo, Stallions, Contreras, Sandberg. Final pack. Corey Kluber. Michael Franco. Eddie Murray. Chris Sale. Mini English Bulldog. Joe Morgan. Rosario. And Reyes. And that's it.
Not a bad break. Definitely happy with it. Had a lot of fun. Always enjoy Allen and Ginter. Shout out to Knuckleball Sports Cards. That's where this was picked up. It's a little look at the carnage. There's the pile of base. Some of our inserts, minis, and a whole pile of wrapper trash. So that's a look at 2019 Topps Allen & Ginter Hobby Box 24 Packs. Just a real quick recap. Here's a stack of minis. There's a whole bunch of stuff to look for with the minis. You've got uh, short prints. You've got different types of backs, such as the Allen & Ginter back. And I know there's Brooklyn backs that you can find that I believe are pretty hard. There's no number parallels, so... All stuff that you have to uh, kind of go through and check out. Probably the biggest hit of the box was this J.D. Martinez medal. This is one in a couple thousand packs. It is not numbered. There's a few different versions of the minis. But that is pretty sweet looking. So definitely a nice little hit there. I did get a rip card of the uh, box stopper. I got to look into that a little bit. See if it's worth rip and open or if I should just sell it as is that's a decision I'll have to make if I do rip it I'll certainly let you know what I get here's a stack insert some cool stuff like the Ginter greats here's short prints of some great players one of the relics was Cal Ripken Jr. so that's cool these inserts are what they are kind of what else we get hit wise oh a Sean Newcomb relic some more short prints and inserts. And then our first relic is all the way back here. And it's pretty forgettable. We got Bonomo, who is a poker player. So that's it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this break of 2019 Topps Allen & Ginter. Appreciate you taking some time to watch it. Hope you guys all have a great one. I'll talk to you next time. See ya.